Oh, ini kan. Ini sambal kau. Not me. Okay. You give me bakau. Okay, so we are from Go5. So we are going to show you how to buy like this shoe from Nike shop. So what is the pro and con of uh, buying traditional way? So pro is uh, you can try the product before you buying and it's here for those who aren't sure about their size. And you also can receive advice from the shoe seller. And there is multiple payment option available and cons. There is no discount available and stock level are unknown. Size may be unavailable and pay sure to buy and less convenient. And next is uh, is a Nike application. So on the first page, it will ask you to sign up and you have to put your email and your name, your name, surname and password. After that, it will ask you about the birth of date and and you will done with the signing up met, uh, method. Then on next page, it will ask you about the language. But here, when we try to do it, it is only have like Thai to choose. So that's why all page are like in Thai. So that means for non non Thai, if you use application in Thailand, you cannot buy it because you don't understand okay. what they are trying to tell you. Yes. So um now you can skip to the part of um website because this one um you explain us already right because everything is in Thai and you are forced to use Thai yeah you can go to the web um to the web browsers first. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. So as I said before, you open the browser and you search Nike and when you sign in you have to enter your email so sadly websites also cannot be in Thai because I tried to change after nike.com slash it's supposed to be th for Thai language I changed to en and the first thing that came up was we can't find the page you're looking for sorry for the inconvenience and it also ch asked me if I want to change my location to the US but I cannot because we live in Thailand. Yes. Right. So that means this one, same problem. Yes. It falls just like um, Thai language. Okay, yes. Right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, before uh, the last presenter just like come to represent that word, let me just like um, talk about like this team five um, uh, exploration a bit up a bit. It is very useful. Um, that's why I asked Team 5 to redo it again, because you can see that this is the strategy for the e-business. We call it as local e-commerce. You can see that even though Nike is, is um, the worldwide products, but in here, the easy tips to force just Thai customers to purchase the products when when you are in Thailand is that it just like force you to use Thai. That means if you don't understand Thai, you cannot buy it. So that means if you say that, hey, Ajahn, and what if we just like try to use some translator to help and try to just like understand what they sell. This is just like um halfway that the local e-commerce can lock. The next kind of locking is that um, you can just like use the, uh, what to say, payment. If you force them to use just credit card that is issued in Thailand only. So it's this one you can lock for sure that um, for any customers who are non-Thai, you don't sell it to them. The reason might be because of some kind of model, some kind of just like limited geographical areas that you sell that model to specific countries. Another thing that you may be able to use for locking is that shipping address. You ship in that specific country only, for example. If we say that we don't want to sell to overseas because we have the problem in order to declare tax. So this is just like the way that you can do. If the shipping address is outside Thailand, you don't, you don't deliver. So this is just like the way in order to just like do the local e-commerce. Same as... 
Thai people, if you go to other countries, for example, if you use um, if you go to some other countries such as to India, for sure, um, in India they use English language too. You may be able to understand in um like what they are trying to communicate to you, but the problem that um they may be able to do is that if they want to lock the the geographical areas, they can just like um say that they, they deliver in India only, and also if you use credit cards that is issued outside India, they don't sell it to you. For example, they may say that okay, we accept only Indian um issuing banks only. Something like that. This is the way that we can do. Okay, so that is just like interesting thing. If you don't try to change or switch into English language, you never see this kind of problem. Okay, now let's move on to the last um, team that um, come back to present on um, the part that they, they have to fix. That is team six once again. After Team 6 finished presentation, I have, we are going to have the IRAC. So everyone, please log in and step by in um, Canvas. Okay, so we're going to uh, skip to the register page, uh, page five. Uh, so when we change to English, so it asks us to sign in with uh, the mobile numbers. Then it will send the ratification codes to you. Next, it will ask us for a member information and set it your PIN code. And last, is fill a little more information or your privilege information, and for the, and uh, for the applications. For this vision to in English version, first is to sign in with the phone number and the second step is you will get the OTP code and then you will go to the third page is register page like you have to fill the personal information like name surname and your email address the first page is they are for more information like you have to fill like country nationality birthday date and ID card number and the last page you will get the verification page. And next is how to purchase on mobile application. Like the first step, you have to find what product do you need to buy and then you click to add to the card and it show as the second page and then you click continue. It will show the delivery page like you have to Add your address like they so they will can send the product and the last way is the way to pay the product they have to be further credit and they be got and second way is installment and the last way is transfer via QR code. No. So can you please go back to the website um sign up? Okay, stop. Next, please. Next. Stop. Okay, so this is the problem. You can see that um, Team 6 is trying to change the language into English already. But you can see this yellow bar. You see that? So for non Thai, they don't understand what um, this website is trying to tell them. So you can see that it has triangle with exclamation mark. For me, I thought, that, hey, I do something wrong for sure, right? Because I don't understand what they are telling me, um, what, what this website is telling me. Then I close, I don't continue further because I don't know. Honey, do you understand what they are trying to tell? So do you agree with me? If you were me, you close the screen. 
because you think that you did you, you do something wrong. Okay. Now let's move on to the next slide, please. Next. Wow. Well, again, this is the problem. Um, I found in some of your presentations, such as Central Department Store, um, who who uh, went shopping at Central Department Store and presented to us which team have team three, right? Central, I, I told you that, okay, no problem. It, it did very good job already because if you go to central um, website or central mobile application, once you change the language to be English, everything is perfectly in English. But this one, you can see that for power by. Um, okay, let me just like zoom the screen for you. You see this one, it is hard. And you don't understand what it means if you are not um, Thai um, people. Okay, so that's why this, this can be the problem. And just a little bit thing, can you please go back to the sign up of uh, mobile apps, please? Okay, this slide up. For the additional information here that you are asked, you can see that if you remember the uh, website that shows exclamation mark in a triangle that I asked Honey before, and she said that she doesn't understand. On mobile application, this is the same thing, have the same meaning. Just like for you, um, for your privilege, you should just like um, like um, sign up for this this account something like that. The problem that I want to show you in here is that. Um, normally, it said that ID card 13 digits, for sure they check. If you enter 12 or 14, they will show the error. But the problem is that if you choose country is Thai, but nationality is other nationality. For example, you are um, American, you are Indian, you are Chinese, you are Myanmar. So what is the problem? The ID card number might not be 13 digits. And it makes you unable to sign up to the application. So this is the problem. I have you have to be careful. If you would like to let your um mobile application or website to be able to accept customers worldwide, the way that you have to do with that for the ID part here, if you can avoid it, that should be okay because some customers might not feel comfortable if they have to give you the ID card number, okay? And I don't know why do you need to have the ID card for the customer for the customer. It might not be the um, uh, benefit for the customer at all. Okay, thank you, Kap Team 6. Now, um, you can see that for like what you discovered for different um, businesses, different products in like um, different settings on website, on mobile applications. Um, the things that I want to, to tell you is that once you um, have your e-business in one country, that is not, um, I mean like um, English best country, or um, if they don't normally do not use English as the international, sorry, as the official language, it might be the problem. If you don't update everything, so one good example from our six different businesses, I, I, um, I think I prefer Central because Central just like show us like seamlessly um, kind of transition from Thai to English for 100% without a problem. While other businesses, some businesses, they have the, like the local e-commerce such as what Nike um, presented to us, um, Team 5 presented to us. Some businesses like such as um, power buy still have the uh, the same, like the problems about the language in different pages when they would like to show about like the um, promotion or whatever thing. So these are just like the points that I want you to see. Okay. So right now is the time for the IRAPs. Um, for the IRAPs, when you finish doing your IRAPs already, Please um, come um, in front of the class 
to sign for your name here uh, and go back to the seat because I have the assignment to assign to you during this weekend. So for our <clears throat> for our IRAS, this is our last IRAS of this term. This is IRAS four. IRAS number four is about the e-commerce platform and technology. Okay, in this IRAS, we um, have the same thing to be done. We have 15 minutes for 10 questions. Select the best answer. That means there could be more than one correct answer and you need to pick the most correct and complete one. Only quiz taker in the classroom are eligible to receive marks. We have 15 minutes if you are ready. Okay, um, please um, do it now. While you are doing I ran have to not communicate with other people. For anyone who finished, you have actually the assignment is to let you do the mind map on and record the video, same as what I before. And I sent the requirements in the line group already. So, anyone who finished your IRAD already, you may sign um, the name here first, and then you may leave the room.